Let us pray. Creator, with joy and gratitude we gather for this time of celebration. May our hearts break open to all your wonders within and beyond this graduation ceremony. Cover us with a blanket woven together with peace, kindness, faith, hope, and love. And let authenticity, awareness, humor, boldness, and, and humility guide us today and tomorrow. Help us to wholly rejoice at this celebration and time of transition. Remind us that with endings come new beginnings and a change in perspective is important for continued growth and learning. Guide each graduate as they catch their breath while dreaming and moving into a new tomorrow. We give thanks to all those who supported this journey in so many wonderful and often challenging ways. Strengthen us in mind, body, and spirit to carry on in creative and trustworthy ways, using our gifts and talents to build a better world each day. Peace and blessings. Amen. My name is Hilton Halleck, and I serve as the interim president of Alaska Pacific University. On behalf of the entire APU community, I'm delighted to welcome family, friends, and especially our graduates to this special commencement ceremony. Although the ceremony is virtual, we're broadcasting today from the beautiful Anchorage, Alaska. And I want to acknowledge that APU is, sits on the traditional homelands of the Dena Ina people. We thank the Dena Ina people for their incredible stewardship of this land on which we are honored to live, work, learn, and play. Congratulations to all of you who have worked so hard to be here today. We're incredibly proud of you and so glad that you chose APU. And thank you to the many supporters who have encouraged and sustained our graduates on their journeys. We're honored to have you join us for this ceremony. Graduates, we have so much respect for your hard work and dedication. You have faced the challenges of the pandemic with grace and perseverance. And as a result, we're here to celebrate you and the commencing of the next phase of your educational journey. Congratulations. I am now pleased to introduce the chairperson of the APU Board of Trustees, Mr. Ethan Shutt. Welcome. I'm Ethan Shutt, I'm the chair of the Board of Trustees here at APU. Welcome graduates, family, friends, faculty, staff, the broader APU community to our fall 2021 commencement. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the leadership here at APU, I want to congratulate the graduates for your successful completion of your educational journey. We're very proud of you. It's why we do our jobs and we wish you well in your future. Thank you. I am honored to introduce Mr. Jim LaBelle, member of the APU Elders Council and a graduate of the class of 1973. Greetings. My name is Akpayuk. My given name is uh, James William LaBelle. Um, I'm, uh, I am very honored and grateful to, to be a, a presenter for the, uh, the fall graduating uh, class of 2021. I am, uh, I'd like to l let you know that I am an alumni of Alaska Methodist University, uh, class of 1973. It was a very uh, wonderful time then as well. What makes it even more meaningful for me was as a young student at a AMU, I was in the audience at uh, another building nearby, I think they call it the Atwood Center. As a uh, non-traditional student, I was standing in the back of the room on December 18, 1971, when we were all straining to listen to uh, President Nixon sign the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act. And as you know, uh, next month, December 18th, will be the 50th anniversary uh, of that event. And um, I, I just feel a very strong connection uh, to AMU, uh, not only for myself, but my, uh, my uh, oldest son graduated from here, and as well as my daughter, uh, Kermit, uh, LaBelle, and Marlia. LaBelle are, are both graduates uh, here. Um, today I'm also talking to you as, uh, 
a representative of Alaska Pacific University's uh, Elders Council. And uh, the reason for that is that, as you probably know, we're in the process of uh, becoming a tribal university. And I, I can't think of a better way to begin this process than, than to have an elders council to help uh, pave the way for this next generation of children or uh, young people. Uh, but as far as yourselves go, uh, you have a, a, a just a wonderful opportunity to uh, become a participant in the world of learning. And I, I hope you never uh, stop learning. Just because you get a degree and I get a diploma in your hand is uh, no excuse to turn off your mind, but to use that to learn even more. And what I mean more is that you'll also begin to give back as well. So I congratulate, congratulate all of you. Uh, go forward, uh, have fun, uh, become a part of our membership. Uh, stay connected to AMU and APU. Uh, become a supporter and tell us how you're doing over the years. Uh, with that, I thank you very much. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to introduce Grace Schultz, the president of the Associated Students of Alaska Pacific University. Class of 2021, wow. Take a deep breath, let it out. You have just wrapped up such a monumentous achievement. And I know that we don't wanna hear more about COVID and how this journey is a river and how you've flowed down it despite the rapids and the eddies and all of these other obstacles, but you have, and you should be so proud of yourself. And remind yourself to give yourself grace as you enter into these new sections of life and this new, this new journey that you're on because even though you may feel unprepared, especially when COVID is putting out so many unknowns, know that you've worked really hard to get to where you're going and that you are completely prepared to take the next steps in whatever direction that may be. And as student body president, it would be um, ill-fitting if I didn't say congratulations on this achievement. You have done amazing and we are so proud of you. We hope that you remember to come back to APU as an alum and share your experiences and continue to network but we also hope that we see you in a little while longer or a little bit further on when you've got some experience and we are going to continue to be proud of all of the accomplishments you guys all continue to make. Keep on keeping on and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Grace. This year, because we're doing a virtual commencement ceremony, each candidate will be recognized by name and degree, followed by a video or personal slide if submitted. Dr. Mandy King, Chair of the Faculty Assembly, will present the candidates for degrees. On behalf of the faculty, let me be the first to congratulate our Fall 2021 graduating class. The past few years have been filled with professional and personal change, but you have all risen above the challenges. Be proud of your achievements. You are now alumni of Alaska Pacific University. Your studies have taught you how to think critically about problems and solutions, actively participate in research and projects, and how we are all interconnected to Alaska and the world through a liberal arts background. Interim President Halleck, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to present the candidates who have successfully completed all of the requirements for undergraduate certificates, associate or bachelor's degrees. Thank you, Dr. King. Graduates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you your degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Undergraduate Certificate, Alaska Rural Management. Danielle H. Merkuliev, Alaska Rural Management Certificate. Associate of Arts, Business Administration. Elizabeth Ann Justine Gimark, 
Associate of Arts in Business Administration. Layla Avidalria Jocelyn Johnson, Associate of Arts in Business Administration. Nicole Dawn Pruitt, Associate of Arts in Business Administration. Krista Topcock, Associate of Arts in Business Administration. Bachelor of Arts, Alaska Native Governance. Benjamin R. Baldwin, Bachelor of Arts in Alaska Native Governance, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Rebecca Irene Arnold, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, Healthcare Management Emphasis, Cum Laude. Jenny R. Bostick, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, Minor Healthcare Management, Nonprofit Management Emphasis. James Michael Hurst, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, magna cum laude. Juliana Lopatin, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, summa cum laude. Keegan Lewis Randall, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, nonprofit management emphasis, magna cum laude. Hey fellow APU graduates, Keegan Randall here. Super excited to stand shoulder to shoulder, well, okay, at least virtually, to celebrate APU graduation 2021. It's crazy to think that this has been a 20 year journey for me since I started APU. Since then, I've gone to five Olympics, I became a mom, I won an Olympic gold medal, battled cancer, and I'm now so proud to be getting my undergraduate degree in business. Along the way, there's been so many great memories with many of you. There have been challenges, triumphs, but through it all, I feel like I grew not only as a student, but as a person and feel super excited for that next chapter. I want to send out a huge thank you to all of the APU professors, staff, the ski team, the community, my family, for helping me stay steady along this 20 year journey, learning so much along the way, having a lot of fun, and now we get to look, kick back, enjoy the hard work for a little bit before we get going and chase after that next goal. Congratulations, fellow graduates. Let's have some fun. Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration and Management. Trixie Victoria Calkins Bennett, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration and Management, magna cum laude. Jens Severson Bombeck, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration and Management, Nonprofit Management Emphasis. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jens Bombeck. I'm thrilled to be a part of the graduating class of 2021. I'll be receiving a Bachelor of the Arts in Business Administration and Management. I wanted to recognize um, all those who helped me achieve this personal milestone. Um, earning this degree did require a lot of personal sacrifice, commitment, and effort, but it wasn't through those actions alone that made it possible. I wanted to express my gratitude towards Alaska Pacific University and, and my community. Uh, there are so many individuals I'm thankful for. I'll just start by highlighting some of the professors. Beverly Holmes, Ava Latuso, Kristen English, Lori Wolf, Alexander Lee, Dr. Timothy Ross, and many more. I also want to recognize my greatest supporters, who are Mrs. Kathleen Weirich and my parents. And for the friends that helped me persist on this academic journey, it was you guys who stayed late into the night, helping me grasp new concepts, edit papers, and just help ensure that I didn't turn in complete academic chaos. I want to say, uh, and these individuals are my sister Tui, Connor Hula, Josh Morissette, and Logan Hubar. 
and there, there's many other individuals that I'd like to mention and I can't express my gratitude enough. And as for Alaska Pacific University, I believe um, their education helped me develop both a more broad and technical understanding of business. It's a place that incorporates many diverse perspectives in its curriculum. This is something I find uh, to be invaluable. As a business graduate, I want to tell you guys on what a good, uh, tell you guys why I believe Alaska Pacific University is uh, such a good investment. But I'll save that for another time. Um, I imagine graduating being uh, like some, or in my head something cheesy, like riding off into the sunset and onto a new adventure. But in a way, it is. I will likely be waking up tomorrow morning and putting this degree to good use, and that's an opportunity I look forward to. Um, to finish up, I'll share a fun picture that I took a couple weeks ago in the mountains behind campus. And thank you guys um, for attending. Have a good evening. Michelle Christine Chassie, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration and Management. Accounting Finance Minor, Summa Cum Laude. Today I would like to acknowledge my ohana, for without them my degree would not have been possible. In the native Hawaiian culture, ohana means family, which is the interconnection between someone's family, friends, co-workers, and even classmates, working together to ensure everyone in the family unit has what they need to survive and to live with joy. I thank God for my ohana. To my loving wife, Jen, thank you for the countless hours of support and for always believing in me. You are my rock. I love you beyond measure. To my parents, thank you for giving me the foundation of my faith and for the constant love and support. Mom, I'll be forever grateful for the cards and phone calls when I needed them most. I love you more. To my sisters and to my friends, thank you for always believing in me and for leading by example. I love you all. A special thank you to my mentor and friend, Chris Ershinger. Eight years ago, you gave me the gentle push to enroll at APU. I'll be forever grateful for the knowledge you've taught me both in government finance and in life. Much love and blessings to you. To my ohana at the County of Maui, mahalo for welcoming me into your family and for accommodating my schedule so I could attend my classes. Today would not have been possible without the support of all of you. Many blessings to each and every one of you. To my APU ohana, thank you for, to the faculty and staff for offering us a top-notch education despite the challenges of a global pandemic. The Business Administration and Management Program has prepared me to be a true leader. Finally, to my classmates, thank you for all that you have taught me over the years. It has been an honor to learn alongside each of you. We did it. Congratulations, class of 2021. I leave you with this. Remember that we're all interconnected. May we all honor our ohanas by acting responsibly, with integrity, and with respect. May God bless you and your ohanas as we lead into a better tomorrow. Lucy Ann Susan Good, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration and Management. Christopher A. Hines, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration and Management, magna cum laude. Jeffrey William Walker, Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration and Management, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Arts, Counseling Psychology. Lily E. Kagan, Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology. Jacob D. Matson, Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology. Megan Marie Rossing, Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology, summa cum laude. Glenna Suzanne Tate, Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology, cum laude. Marissa Nanahuk Vinberg, Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology, cum laude. Bachelor of Arts, Creative and Professional Writing. Brennan D. Land, Bachelor of Arts in Creative and Professional Writing. Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Jennifer Lynn Miller, Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies, magna cum laude.
Bachelor of Arts Outdoor Studies. Megan E. Rentz, Bachelor of Arts in Outdoor Studies, Cum Laude. Chase Tyler Rodriguez, Bachelor of Arts in Outdoor Studies. Hi, my name is Chase Rodriguez. I'm 21 years old from San Antonio, Texas, and I'll be majoring in Outdoor Studies. I started at Alaska Pacific University in the fall of 2018 and have been on some great adventures such as floating down the Yukon River, hiking in the Chigach mountain range, and sea kayaking in Prince William Sound. This structure here is my senior project idea. It is a resourceful greenhouse made out of cottonwood trees and recycled plastic. I would like to give thanks to all my family and friends for supporting me through my college experience at APU. I'd like to thank my advisor, Michael Kaplan, for supporting and providing guidance to help me achieve my goals and of course keeping me on track to graduate. I also would like to thank the faculty and staff at APU. Thanks Registrar's Office. I have spent a total of three and a half years at APU and I have enjoyed the people, the courses, and the community for making APU what it is. Thank you. Annika Lee Smidgen. Bachelor of Arts in Outdoor Studies, summa cum laude. Aaron Charles Welk, Bachelor of Arts in Outdoor Studies, Self-Design Concentration, magna cum laude. Duncan Wright, Bachelor of Arts in Outdoor Studies, Snow Science Concentration, Cum laude. Hi, my name is Duncan Wright. I'm a graduating senior at APU in the Outdoor Studies program, concentrating in snow science. And I just have a few acknowledgments and thanks I'd like to give before I get out of here. Um, first, I'd like to acknowledge the Denina land on which I have studied and played and lived and learned uh, for the last, I guess, five years. Um, and I'd like to say a huge thank you to my advisor, Ava, who was the one who inspired me to get into backcountry skiing and snow science on my first day at APU as a prospective student, and who has encouraged me and pushed me through the last five years, especially this last semester trying to complete my senior project during COVID. Um, and I'd lastly like to say thank you to all the rest of the APU faculty who I've worked through throughout the years and all my fellow students and friends who I've spent time with throughout my time here. Thank you. Bachelor of Arts Sustainability Studies. Michaela Marie Bell, Bachelor of Arts in Sustainability Studies. Bachelor of Science, Environmental Public Health. Henry James Clark, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Public Health, cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Health Sciences. Cassandra Nicole Villa, Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, Behavioral Health Concentration, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Marine and Environmental Sciences. Rebecca Marie Berrigan, Bachelor of Science in Marine and Environmental Sciences, Marine Biology Concentration. Sadie Lynn Marie Mills, Bachelor of Science in Marine and Environmental Sciences. Aquarium and Husbandry Science Concentration, Outdoor Studies Minor, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Tracy Lynn Frost, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. Interim President Halleck, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to present the candidates who have successfully completed all requirements for graduate certificates and master's degrees. Graduate students, 
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you your degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Graduate Certificate. Teacher Education K-8 Certificate. Lane Ellis Bodemiller. Graduate Certificate in Teacher Education. K-8 Certificate. Master of Arts. Christina Montalaro Demain, Master of Arts. Carissa L. Dupree, Master of Arts. Abney Joy Johnson, Master of Arts, K-8 Teaching Certification. Shannon Lee O'Laughlin, Master of Arts. Alexandria Lauren Williams, Master of Arts. Master of Business Administration. Andrea J. Kroll, Master of Business Administration. Jessica L. Denny, Master of Business Administration. Brandon Ottman Hall, Master of Business Administration. Whitney Patuk Kelly Zender, Master of Business Administration. Radhika Krishna, Master of Business Administration. Cordella S. Mendenhall Smith. Master of Business Administration. Georgiana Siluk, Master of Business Administration. Nathan S. Yaskol. Master of Business Administration. Master of Business Administration, Finance. Rachel Brumbless, Master of Business Administration in Finance, Investments Certificate. Corey Lee Lapore Jr., Master of Business Administration in Finance. Eleanor Sue Sue, Master of Business Administration in Finance. Master of Business Administration, Health Services Administration. John Charles Davis, Master of Business Administration in Health Services Administration. Bethany A. Jones, Master of Business Administration in Health Services Administration. Executive Master of Business Administration. Information Technology. Shane E. Derendoff, Executive Master of Business Administration in Information Technology. Ryan M. LeBlanc, Executive Master of Business Administration in Information Technology. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It has been a difficult road for all of us, especially over the last couple of years, but here we are. I'm excited to announce I've earned my Executive Master of Business Administration with a concentration in information technology. I would first like to thank all of my classmates and professors. They help provide an environment for success and I will forever be grateful. Good luck on your next journey. 
I would also like to thank my family for all the support they gave me over the course of this program. They gave me the initial inspiration to actually go into the business side. To them, I say thank you. I started this degree program not only to better myself, but for my son Sawyer. I wanted to show him the importance of education and that anything worth having is worth fighting for. He gave me the mo motivation to see this through and also kept me up late during my intensives. I started this program around the time he was born. One of the most fundamental reasons why I was able to successfully complete this degree is due to my wife, Heather. She was absolutely critical to giving me the support I needed to push through. There were times where I wasn't even sure if I could complete this program, but she was there to help redirect me and gave me the foundation to continue on. I absolutely owe my success to her. Heather, thank you for everything you've done for me and all the sacrifices you've made. So again, congratulations to the class of 2021. Executive Master of Business Administration, Strategic Leadership, Natasha Deshawn Webster, Executive Master of Business Administration and Strategic Leadership. Jeremy Aaron Weidman, Executive Master of Business Administration and Strategic Leadership. Master of Science, Counseling Psychology. Cassie Malia Akers, Master of Science in Counseling Psychology. Macrina Ann Dunaway, Master of Science in Counseling Psychology. Master of Science, Environmental Science. Teresa Fish, Master of Science in Environmental Science. Corey J. Lesher, Master of Science in Environmental Science. Master of Science, Outdoor and Environmental Education. Jillian McCarson. Master of Science in Outdoor and Environmental Education, K-8 Teaching Certification. Joshua A. Schrader. Master of Science in Outdoor and Environmental Education, K-8 Teaching Certification. Congratulations once again to the class of 2021. You may have noticed that I referred to the responsibilities that come with your degrees, and you may be wondering what those are. With the skills and knowledge you have gained, you share responsibility for improving our communities, our workplaces, and our world. With the experience and empathy you have gained by working with diverse classmates and community members, you are now equipped to make ethical decisions that respect both the knowledge of the past and the needs of the future. And just as the faculty, staff, colleagues, elders, employers, and family members have mentored you on your educational journey, I hope you will mentor and inspire others to pursue higher education. We have come to the close of our ceremony and the beginning of the next phase of your educational journey. That's why we call it a commencement. As you move forward, I hope you'll stay connected with APU through the Alumni Association and by encouraging your classmates to finish their degrees. Stay well, do good, and keep in touch. I would now like to invite Pastor Anderson to give the benediction. Let us pray. Creator of all that is seen and unseen, we give you thanks for this time to celebrate each graduate. We give you thanks for the many people who support us on our journeys. We give you thanks for the APU community. We give you thanks for this land we live on and call our home. We give you thanks with joy-filled hearts at this graduation exercise comes to a close. We give thanks for our future and the diversity of directions our lives will go. We give you thanks. Amen. Congratulations to the Fall 2021 Alaska Pacific University graduates from the Institute of Culture and the Environment. And an extra shout out to our marine and environmental science graduates. As you go into the world to find your path, 
Think of your inspiration as Neil deGrasse Tyson suggested. Create a role model that is a conglomerate of the different people that inspire you. Because you are unique and so should be your inspiration. We hope that APU is part of that inspiration and I hope that you stay in touch with APU and with APU's future graduates so that you can become an inspiration to others. Again, congratulations on graduating. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Paul Tordat, the Director of Outdoor Studies and a Professor in Outdoor Studies. Your experience at APU has prepared you to contribute to society and your community. However you do it, remember, keep learning, and please keep in touch as you'll always be part of this APU community. Congratulations. Hello, APU grads. I'm Gina Miller, and I'm Assistant Professor of Writing here at APU, and I co-direct the Institute of Culture and the Environment with my colleague, Pam Maslick. My favorite thing about APU is that I get to teach all of you every day. There's nothing I would rather do more in the world. But my favorite day at APU is graduation. And that's because that's the day where we get to celebrate all of you as students. For some of you, the journey was long, not to mention hard, but the most important thing is that you all did it. And today is the day where we get to celebrate you. So congrats to you. Now go out and live it up. You have all very much earned it. Thank you. Congratulations, APU students and graduates. We're so proud of you. My name is Beverly Holmes, and I'm the director of the Institute of Business and Public Policy. And on behalf of the department, I want to thank you and welcome you to the uh, world of the alums. We're so proud of you that you've gotten your degrees in these times. You've been through almost two years of COVID. I mean, the uncertainty, is it gonna be online? Is it gonna be in person? Are we all gonna die? We made it, you made it, you had the kids on, you were doing home, home care, kids, everything, managing your job, managing your degree, and you prevailed, and we're so proud of you. I want to tell you that you're part of our APU family, and with that, I really want you to stay connected with us. Let us know what you do with your degrees. Let us know what's going on with you. We really care, and we really want to know what's happening, and remain part of the alumni family. When we have alumni gatherings, you've got to come so we can all see you and, and greet you and be proud of you. So on behalf of the department, uh, we want to congratulate you again and go forward and be, make APU proud. Thanks. Welcome to the new normal. Virtual celebrations, Zoom happy hours, backgrounds, cat filters and masks, they all represent ways that we've adapted to the current state of the world and today is no different. You've attended some online classes, probably had to change more than a few things in your life, and yet here you are. And here we are, celebrating your accomplishments. That we are not together does not diminish the value of your hard work. In fact, the new normal may have made some of your pursuits much more difficult. Learning a new skill in a two-dimensional format, connecting with others in a chat box instead of a coffee shop. All of these highlight the adaptability of all of us to overcome obstacles and find a way, even in the face of a global pandemic, to adapt and keep moving on. So keep adapting, keep moving on, keep overcoming, and take some time to celebrate your accomplishments. They are very meaningful. Congratulations from the Institute of Health and Wellness. <laughs>